Um, thank you, Chair. And this question um, is for Ms. Finkelstein as well, if that's okay. Um, obviously, a big part of the 25 year plan was around soil degrad de degradation and peatland management. Um, in the strategy, the, um, the 25 year plan, sorry, there was a promise of a peat strategy by the end of 2018. How soon can we expect to see that promised um, England peat strategy? Yeah. Um, so, let me find the actual. Uh, the um, yeah. So there are, are a number of strategies, including that one, that we have ha have had to be delayed into next year. A lot of work has been done on it, so it is close to being able to be um, uh, be published. But I think we are looking in the first quarter of next year. I will just see if if I have that right. Uh, Mr. Mr. Hill, Hill might be David, able to David Hill. Yeah, that's, that's right. I would say work on the draft strategy is well advanced, and we'll be expected to be able to bring that forward um, in the next uh, in the next couple of months. Ms. Blake. Uh, well, I look forward to that. I just wanted to understand if you feel that the lack of strategy has led to any further damage of peatlands, and whether we should be concerned about that. Mr. Hill, or who we want to take that? Um, I, I can take that. Um, I mean, I think, I mean, the strategy is, um, the challenges we face on peatlands, I think, are, are well understood. Um, and in the intervening period, of course, we've made, we've had to make uh, interim arrangements around how we protect uh, uh, our peatlands. Um, but the strategy will really have a long-term focus. So um, I think that the key thing about the strategy is it's really looking forward for the long-term of the measures we need to take over um, uh, the kind of time horizons we've outlined in the 25-year plan. So, um, although clearly we would have wished to be able to bring this work forward earlier, um, I feel like in terms of getting that long-term approach in place, that will be the key, um, the key uh, value that the strategy will add.